Hey guys, Yishan here for ZFA Tech. Welcome to another video and I hope you guys stay for until the end because I really want to speak to you guys about a kind of a topic, right, where it's always on people's minds. Um, it still is in a way. Um, I think more people are educated now when it comes to mobile phones or smartphones now. As probably most of you have seen or if you haven't seen it, check out some of the other videos. I've done a series about iOS and Apple and iPhones and stuff like that as well. So do check those out as well. The playlist are on my channel um, so you know they're easy for you to get to and I've got the iPhone 6s right so this iPhone 6s is the phone where it's got 4k it's the first iPhone to have 4k in it but I think I really just wanted to touch upon like why I've just really been drawn to the iPhone as opposed to any other phone any other platform um, as such because the first time I got a smartphone uh, well let's put it this way the first time I had a phone, I mean every time I do get a phone, I get it because there's something unique about it and it kind of fulfills a need for me. I think when I got like, I had, I think I got the Nokia 3210 which, uh, you know, Nokia brought back. You know, I liked it, it was convenient, I can make phone calls, text messages, it's got a game or two on it, Snake, etc. Um, and I loved it and that was great. Uh, but then after that I wanted like a camera or I wanted something that I can play, you know, like it was a good like um, audio player, music player, mp3 files. And, you know, that was a kind of a big thing as well. And so okay, I got the Sony Ericsson W880i. Awesome phone. If I got the picture you'll be able to see it right now on the screen in front of you and then I was like you know what I want to get a, like a smartphone I really do need a smartphone I did want to do something that I could play really good was really good I guess for mp3 players and at the time it was two phones right iPhones um, I think it's probably like iPhone 4 maybe or something like that that was out back then and the Blackberries right and I looked at both of those phones and I thought, okay, that's really nice. I think the Blackberry that I liked was the one where basically right at the top of the Blackberry, you know, you had, you know, the play button, the skip button, the forward and the, you know, and re rewind button or skip back button rather. Um, and that was great. Um, so I looked at that and I thought, oh, well, maybe I should get the Blackberry because I, I looked at the iPhone and I was like, everybody gets the iPhone. But then when I thought about it, I thought like, everybody gets the Blackberry because back then everybody was into it. And then I thought to myself, let's look over there and check out those guys you know HTC and at the time it was HTC Desire great phone nice camera it was actually faster than the iPhone at the time that was uh, that was out then as well it was faster in terms of the UI and you know going in and out of apps and all that cool stuff and I liked it it was just great it had also had that feature you know which like phones have nowadays where basically if you got a phone call the phone's ringing of course you turn it upside down you put it onto the, the table or the desk and it'll just cancel the call or mute it that was awesome because I was in university at the time as well so that was great so if you got a phone call in the middle of the lecture you can do that now I have the iPhone I got the iPhone 5 and then the 5s came got that 6 came got that 6s came got that I didn't get the 7 though and I think the reason really is because the 7 was just not good enough okay yeah it's got some of the latest technology uh, especially with the cameras and stuff like that but it wasn't good enough for me like I said when I was looking for a new phone back from the Sony Ericsson days to HEC and then obviously the iPhone, was some, it had to fulfill something for me, whether it's cameras, internet speed, music player. But now it's like, this is the one that, you know, I'm always using constantly with social media, with games, with, you know, camera, MP3, travel, fitness as well, which is quite huge for me now. I'm actually looking at some sort of smart device, which was this one, but it doesn't work anymore after two weeks. So that sucks. So I'm saying basically, Basically is that it has to fulfill something for me it has to be the next something and at the moment it's not there so this is kind of my idea Apple this is why I bought your phones but this is why I'm not buying your phones anymore the next one has to have an amazing screen on it because I looked at the Galaxy S8 and that looks amazing really the best screen on any smart device let's put it that way wireless charging guys wireless charging is the next one and if you don't have wireless charging now 2017 has to be it, if not 2018, but please 2017, that'd be great. <laughs> so this is what I like, my journey with Apple and with smartphones. You guys, I would love to hear it from you guys. Let me know what you think of phones, of your you know, journey, what kind of phones you started off with and what you have now and why and all of that cool stuff. And also tag a friend, Let ask a friend and hopefully I hear from all you guys. Thank you so much for watching. So if you like this little video where I'm just directly talking to you guys, give it a thumbs up kind of helps me out a little bit subscribe on that little button of the way as well at the bottom and i hope to see you in the next one so thanks for watching and i'll see you soon